What's going on, BC? Rob here to do another Ranking the Record. Um, I think it's episode 8. We'll go with that. Um, this necessarily isn't my favorite album by the band, but it's got my favorite song on there by the band. So that's why I'm ranking this record. And I think most people know this one. And, uh, uh, I got confused already. Once Bitten and Twice Shy, I think most people know their albums the best, so that's why I went with that one. Uh, Great White's uh, Twice Shy. God. Twice Shy, uh, mainly because it has my favorite Great White song on there, period. Uh, so the album has nine tracks, and we're going to go from nine to one. Um, album's a really good album. It's another uh, classic album, in my opinion. Um, Great White has a, two different sounds, uh, in my, you know, for me. The early on was a bit heavier, a bit more in the metal vein, and then they got that blues vibe going through. They always had a bit of that bluesy vibe in there because of Mark Kendall, the guitar player, who has his own his own sound. Uh, but he really, it really came on after sh uh, Shot in the Dark, uh, Once Bitten, Twice Shot. That's when you really started to get a lot of the blues in their music. Um, but anyway, uh, the first song, number nine, is Once Bitten, Twice Shy. Again, it's a cover song. Generally, I'm not a big fan of cover songs. They did it well. Uh, it sounds great. I'm so sick of hearing it. Only reason it's on the bottom. Uh, it's, well, two reasons it's on the bottom. It's a cover and, you know, if, if a cover is up higher in, a, in my list, it means I really, really, really like it, or I think it's better than the original, which there are a couple. Um, number eight is She Only. Good song. Uh, they have a good knack for writing ballad -y type songs with a with like a haunting vibe, a haunting melody behind it. Really good, especially on this song and uh, number five. Uh, Good ballads, they write good ballads. Music, blues fits that ballad for this kind of music for them. Uh, number seven is this song, Move It, which I love the music to it, I just don't like the chorus. Um, this album might give it an eight overall. Maybe a seven, five. I, I think there's a, I think Move It uh, and Once Bitten are more fillers for me. Uh, number six is Babies on Fire. Uh, great song, love this song. Uh, one through six is tough, you know. Well, one's not. Two through six is is tough for me to split apart. Uh, this took two listens as well to get to figure a lineup. Uh, number five is their one of their bigger ballads, and that's Angel Song. Uh, I love that song. Uh, that's a song I forgot about when I was doing ballads. It had been up uh, high up there in my overall, not in my top. 10, but high up there. Uh, number four is Highway Nights. It's a good opening track. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's opening. I'm not thinking of it. Did I get on the camera, my brain just goes sideways. No, I am absolutely wrong. I think it's so. one, two. It's the last. Uh, whatever. I'm wrong. It's not. Move it. This is the opening. I'm confused. Yeah, this is the opening track. I'm a dumbass. Uh, it's a good song. It's one of my, obviously, one of my favorite songs on the album. Uh, definitely a good driving song, just by the title alone, but I mean, it's actually a good driving song. Uh, number three, Heart to Hunter. Uh, one of my favorite songs by the band, period. Uh, number two is more of the, uh, the dirty blues. You know, it's got a little... Uh, uh, innuendo to the to the song. It's called Mr. Bone. Uh, obviously, you know what that's about. If I have to describe it to you, you might you'd look up some stuff on the internet. Just saying. And my absolute number one great white song of all time. Uh, this song. This song will, would crack my. I hate doing that because it probably would crack my top. 30 songs of all time 
50, I'll say 50, make it easier that way. It may hit the top 10. I, I just don't, it's so hard sometimes because it depends on your mood that day, what, you, what you're thinking of, you know, there's a lot of great songs you can't think of. Again, like I mentioned in a previous video, <clears throat> Uh, addicts like us, when it comes to music, we, we I think we forget more than we actually remember a lot of the time. So when you throw out these ideas and these contests and we're thinking and thinking, we miss a lot more than we realize we, we, we pick up on. That, a lot of times after I do a video, I'm like, damn, how did I forget this song or this album? Or, you know, it's just... Anyway, song number one is House of Broken Love, and I like the long version of it. Um, not the... MTV cut down version with the long guitar intro and the long guitar solo. Uh, just a phenomenal bluesy hard rock song from Great White. If you have never heard that song, which I can't believe you haven't, uh, this album was popular. It was actually a video they released, which was surprising because it wasn't very, it's not really at the time a, a video, a, you know, a hair metal hard rock kind of what was going on at the time, you know, the pop shit, it just wasn't like that, and uh, you listen to that song on the headphones especially, oh my god, <clears throat> it's like a wet dream, I go back to Mr. Bone, okay, we'll stay on House of Broken Love, but if you haven't heard that song, check it out, it's great white, like the shark, and the song is called House of Broken Love, or just look up the whole album, Twice Shy, but if, you, if, if, if you're not a fan of like metal or hair or stuff like that, but you like blues, um, look up the song House of Broken Love by Great White. If you don't like that song, I'd be shocked. I don't care what, what genre of music is your wheelhouse or you love. Anyway, guys, there's uh, my ranking of Great White, uh, Twice Shy. I always want to say once and twice shy together. I hate that they put two albums out like that. <clears throat> um, what is your thought on the album? What is your thought on my ranking? What is your ranking? Um, <clears throat> I know this album kind of falls between two genres, and those are generally weird sometimes with people. I, I don't get it. Good music is good music to me. Uh, yeah, I'm a hard rock metal fan, but I mean, Listen to that. <laughs> and the worst part about it was when you know Mark Hen when Jack Russell left or well, kicked out of Great White, whatever you want to call it. Uh, even with Mark Kendall still there, they got the singer from XYZ singing for him now, and they have the name Great White. Uh, it's just not the same. And it was Terry Elios or Elias. Amazing singer, uh, X White, X White, X Y Z's um, debut album is one of my top favorites. That would be in my top hundred favorite albums. Um, but it just doesn't, it just doesn't mix. There's Jack Russell's voice and Mark Kendall's guitar sound tone playing. It just, it was just gold. They got a little crazy, you know, out there towards the end, but you can tell something wasn't right. Anyway, guys, we're gonna get out of here comment, let me know what you think, I want your list, your likes, if you don't like it, whatever, just give me your input, it, it's what makes me keep doing these, these videos, of these ranking videos. I have enjoyed it, uh, I have enjoyed it quite a bit, going through these albums again, and like I said before, listen to them a different way. Y'all have a good day, and I'll catch up with you real soon.